For all those who can or care to remember 30 years ago, this was the fashion plate of the well-dressed Australian male. As you can see, uh, the double-breasted striped suit with the wide lapels and the 22 to 24 inch trouser cuffs. And incidentally, that suit was priced at the daring four guineas. Well, since 1935, not only have men's styles changed, but so it seems have also men. The 1965 look for the modern city man, a slim line, a rather perky outfit, which 30 years ago would have uh, been called quite odd, even sissy. And the same sort of change has taken place in the country man, who today leaves his sweat and jodhpurs and open neck shirt back on the property and comes to town looking like this. What we're leading up to is the question, is the Australian man man enough? Is he the more rugged outdoor he-man looking type as we see here and has, as most of the world does picture him to be? Or is he more correctly uh, portrayed by this image, where fashion has now gone to his head with a vengeance. And while the executive suite might have its daring dash of French blue or gunstock brown, it's difficult to see some of these styles clinching a deal even during the cocktail hour. No modern pharmacy these days can really claim to be modern without its full quota of men's toiletries, which are fast demanding equal space with women's bottled secrets. For men with long hair, or for those who just want to keep it, there's an answer. Those to whom the sweet smell of success is vital haven't been overlooked. Though the price of £31.10 a bottle would seem to limit the demand. And in this pressure-packed age we live in, the easier it is to apply, the better. Men's fashions have long included the daintiness of cufflinks, but apparently the traditional plain brassy ones are not enough anymore to hold our shirt sleeves together. And men's wear stores report big sales of links which not only tell you the time at the flick of a wrist, but also allow the more fastidious to glitter with every gesture. Australian men have a reputation of being undemonstrative towards women, says Squire magazine, the newest for men only publication on the bookstalls. Its editor says it's an unfounded reputation these days, along with other criticisms about self-consciousness, which once precluded the Australian male from looking at men's fashions in department stores or reading new recipes in a cookery book. <laughs> 